My name is Rick Duran. I'm the uh, head of the Vallejo Gay Network. Um, and I'd like to welcome all of you uh, on behalf of ourselves and Solano Pride to this wonderful Pride picnic. Um, never in my life, 18 years ago, um, it'll be 18 years ago next month on the 4th of July, I never would have thought that we would be doing this 18 years later. Uh, the Vallejo Gay Network really started off as a handful of neighbors having a, a potluck, a, a barbecue, and saying, you know, I see other members of our community, queer folk who are downtown at the farmer's market, at the supermarket, at Home Depot, at Costco, all around town. Wouldn't it be nice if we all met each other and got to know each other? And here we are 18 years later in Alden Park on Mare Island in what uh, uh, we are one of the most diverse cities of its size in the nation today enjoying this wonderful time. Uh, thank you all for coming out. I'm going to hand the mic over to um, uh, the rest of the party that's up here with us. My name is Rebecca Nord and I also want to welcome you. I want to welcome you. My name is Rebecca Nord. Can you hear me now? Okay. I feel like a Verizon commercial. Um, uh, this is a wonderful day and a wonderful way to celebrate our community. Um, we have a diverse community all through the county. We have people with lots of different interests that are part of our community. I want to thank you for coming. And those of you who went to comedy night and who went to the prom last night, I know you had a good time and I know you'll have a good time today. Um, this is also a good place for us to come together um, around in terms of the tragic news that happened uh, in Orlando today. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But again, thank you for coming. Stop by our table. Stop by Planned Parenthood. If you're interested in being a part of an LGBTQ family group, we've got a table here and a way for you to sign up for that. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, all. And, and thank you so much for being here. I'm Bob Sampayan. And I'm on the, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I have with me Council Member Katie Meisner. And Council Member Robert McConnell is in the audience. He's there, he just waved to all of us. I thank you all for being here. And what I want to do is take a moment, for a moment of silence, for today. So could we all bow our heads? and reflect on the sadness that happened in Orlando. Sadly, diversity is a struggle. Diversity is all of us. And it isn't just the LBTGQ community, it's also those of us of color. And colors represented all throughout the folks that are here this afternoon. Sadly, there's so much hate in this world that it is up to us to show that we are not hateful people. That we are here to show love, transparency, honesty, and openness to our fellow man and woman and children. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for the moment of silence. And I'm going to pass the mic over to Council Member Meisner. Thank you, Council Member Sampayan. Um, just a few words. Uh, last night we, hello, can you hear? Okay, last night we were all dancing at the Pride Prom. Last night we had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for the organizers, especially Tom Bilbo, who's standing right in front of me. Um, and. I just want to say, at the same time we were dancing at about 11 o'clock, that horrible 
massacre was happening at 2 a.m. in Orlando. And thank you for the moment of silence, Council Member Sampayan. And I wanted to th also thank Congressman Thompson because I know he's worked so hard for sane gun control laws. And so we've got three things together, a horrible intersection of easy access to guns, hatred, and mental illness, in my opinion. So anyway, um, and I, but also I also want to recognize that this is a wonderful community. We're coming together, embracing each other, and just as before you leave, give somebody a big hug and tell them you love them. Thank you. And I'd like to uh, introduce Michael Thompson, our representative. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here with you today. And uh, this is a happy and a sad day. Uh, it's happy because we're all here. We're here to celebrate with great pride our diversity. Uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, it means so much, not only to all of us here, but to everyone across our country. Certainly a sad day, given what happened in Florida today and what almost happened in Los Angeles today. These are acts of terror, they're acts of hatred, and they have no place in our great country. I was thinking on the way down about my association with uh, pride picnics and pride dinners and pride parades throughout the time that I've been in elected office. And I remember back when I first ran for elected office, I was running for the state senate in 1990. And I was running against an incumbent senator who can be most accurately described, amongst other things, as a homophobe. And he's the guy who infamously said that AIDS was God's punishment to bad people. And I knew he was wrong for the job before he said that, but it certainly, uh, it certainly solidified uh, what I already knew. And I remember Shortly after that, being at a Pride uh, dinner in Santa Rosa, a couple of hundred people there, and we got notice that the keynote speaker was tied up in a terrible traffic jam coming out of San Francisco and wasn't going to be able to make it. And the MC called me up and said, will you be our keynote speaker? And i got to tell you, especially when you're first starting out, it's not easy for someone to hand you a microphone when you weren't ready for it and say, come up and give a speech. But that was easy in comparison to being here today in light of this tragedy that we're all wrestling with coming out of Florida. There's no explanation for it. There's no room for hate. There's no place for hate. And that's what this was about, a combination of terror and a combination of hate both things that we need to do everything in our power to double down to do away with. Now, Katie mentioned that I'm working hard on gun violence prevention, and she's right. I chair the committee, the task force, on gun violence prevention. One of the things we've been working on is to keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. Criminals, people who are dangerously mentally ill. And you would think individuals identified as a threat to our country, so much of a threat that they're placed on the terrorist watch list and they can't fly on an airplane in the United States of America. And the news is coming out of the situation in Florida that the FBI had interviewed this individual on two different occasions. He was a person of concern. And people have already asked me, if he's being interviewed by the FBI and he's a person of concern, how is it that he's able to get a gun? Well, here's a dirty little secret. If you're on the terrorist watch list, no-fly list, you're still legally able to buy a gun in the United States of America. Just one of the things that we're wrestling with that we've got to fix. And those who say we don't need any change in the law are wrong. They're just dead wrong. And we've got one guy running for president who thinks there are already too many gun laws on the books. He's wrong about this as much as he's wrong about everything else and the hatred that he's been spewing and the, the divisiveness that he's been spewing. 
So thank you for being here. Thank you for standing tall. Thank you for being, prou prou for being proud. And I'm proud to stand with you and proud to say that I represent this community in the United States House of Representatives. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out. And um, we have a heck of a congressman, don't we? Let's give him another round. You know, um, this, is a, this is a really strange day, you know. Um, I like to say that I'm a pre-women's movement, pre-Stonewall movement, out black lesbian, which folks say that means that I'm just old. <laughs> and that is true. But never did I think I would live long enough to see the kind of tragedy that unfolded in Orlando. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm speechless. And those of you who know me know that that's not an unusual, that's an unusual position for me to be in. I am just, I mean, we have so much work to do. We just have so much work to do. And I know that only love can conquer hate as our Islamic brothers come up here to celebrate with us. Let's give them a hand. Our brothers from the Islamic Center. We have work to do in this town, folks, and we can do it. With representatives like Congressman Mike Thompson, our future mayor, Bob, McC Bob Sampayan, and Robert McConnell, our future, our current and future council person, you know, we can do it. We can change this town around. We can change it. Thank you all. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Y'all, y'all, um, my name is Matthew Finkelstein. I guess I'm no one special, but this morning I decided to stop by Vallejo's Islamic Center and um, I, I did have a word with them and I asked them to be here with us because I thought it would be really important for our community, our communities to stand together as community. And so I would like to introduce the chairman. This is Muhammad Hussein. Hello. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's good to be here with you guys. It is so sad for us to hear what we heard in the news today. It is extremely painful for all of us. In Islam, we condemn such behavior. We love, we love humanity, every one of us. So please be friends and loving each other is the only way to solve the problems of the world today. We condemn whatever has happened today is such a nasty thing to bring such a bad name to Islam, but we are not like that. Islam is nothing like that. Whatever has happened is made out of a twisted mind. We in Vallejo Islamic Center welcome you all. We are brothers in Islam with all of you guys. So please stand together with us and we support you for whatever rights you're looking for. And we definitely condemn this violence in Islam. It's totally no place for violence in our religion either. So I'll give it back to you. What, once again, I, I want to thank everyone for being here today. This, if you start looking around, is the prime example of why Vallejo is the most diverse city in uh, the U.S. Um, if we all learn about each other's culture, uh, respect each other's cultures and spiritualism, then we can li live in peace and we can make peace the main course of our lives. So learn a little bit about each other. Learn about your neighbor's culture. Learn about uh, their spiritualism. When you learn something different, it enlarges you, it enlarges our community, and it makes us one family, one global family. Anyway, enjoy the afternoon. Well, is there a video tonight? Yeah. Is, I 
Is there a vigil tonight? That's the question. Anyway, if, if there is something, uh, please let every, everyone know. Um, and uh, I hope everyone notes that um, we ha are flying our flags at half mast today. And we'll be uh, requesting that um, the city also take uh, the flag that they're flying over uh, City Hall over this weekend. Uh, hopefully, they will fly it at half mast and possibly longer than just the weekend. Thank you.